Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add some music to the background that will play throughout your game, because after all, most computer games have music in the background. So, first thing you need to do then is choose an object that can play the music. Now, I'm going to choose my castle because my castle is going to be there the whole time. But it could be anything, it could be a tree, it could be um, another character, but it's quite important that that character doesn't disappear at any point in the game. Because if they do, the music will suddenly stop. So the first thing I'm going to do with my castle is I'm going to change its settings, which I do by right-clicking as if I'm going to program it. So I'm going to go and change settings, and I'm going to make it so it's invulnerable. Now that kind of means that if later I decide to add some characters into my game that shoot um, maybe ammo, and the ammo will explode and cause damage, this just prevents my castle from being damaged and disappearing. So. Um, it's invulnerable. Now what I need to do is I need to program that castle. So very simply, I'm going to program it. Now I'm not going to put anything in this when tile, because if you don't put anything in the when tile, it just assumes you want it to do all the time. So that's what I'm going to do. just saves a little bit of time if you're um, adding lots of code to your game. So the do section is I want it to play some music. And playing is an action, so I need to play and then I just need to select my music. So you can have a play with any of these, but I'm just going to go for music and I'm going to go new and just hover over them to hear what they are. So I'm going to go for action. And now, if I test my game, suddenly sounds much more exciting. So that's how you can add music to your games.